decisions were there that this land, you know, Italy, Italians controlling Libya, British mandate all over the place, everywhere in the Middle East to continent to the Levant, even India subcontinent, British ruled for how many years, hundred years, and they came by the excuse or the pretext of India, East India Company, that we want to do some trade, things, spice, other things, industries, on and on. What did they do? They come and they take unfair advantage of those people and they captured India around 1850s and then till 1947. They suffered. Radcliffe, he divided India subcontinent into the way of so weird kind of division and then he put the consternation and all this contentment into that region. People fought, killed for the, this population of this migration. The highest population of migration happened at that time when Radcliffe deliberately he divided India into such a position that he put India in the middle those crocodiles and they put East Pakistan which now be Bangladesh on the other side West Pakistan which we have now so they know it that sooner or later it's gonna split again which happened unfortunately so British mandate was everywhere and Swiss Canal held by the Jews sponsored by the Jews to, to help the backup and they removed this old sand and made the Swiss Canal and because of the reason why it was so made people don't really know that why it was made the reason why they made it because British Spanish these were explorers Portuguese British, Spanish French Italians and on these uh, British they had to go all down all around with them down of the good hope of South Africa by meeting those Somalian pirates then reached to India Vasco da Gama he did it so they said we need to find another way and that was Swiss Canal coming from the top from the Europe going crossing that small part of it from Egypt going down to the Red Sea then going down to other Indian Ocean and reach to India easy way out bring those guns powdered by the Chinese do the job or, or you know did the job so British mandate was everywhere everything was everywhere all these things were happening this is what prophet says it will happen to you then Sahaba Sahaba Raziyatullah Ajma'een all of them they said that that oh prophet Muhammad Islam, is that the reason that we will be you know less in number so prophet says no you will be more in numbers the problem will be that you will be indulged in a disease by the name of Wahan. So this, some, this word brought something new for the Muslims. So they asked, Ya Rasulullah Wasallam, what is this Wahan? He said, Hubbu dunya wa krahyatil maut. That you will love this dunya and you will detest death. And that is why Allah will remove the terror and the fear from the hearts of the disbelievers and then they will attack you wherever they will find you they will kill you you can see the situation in the past when the Muslims army when the kuffar they hear that the Muslims army is coming of course they were doing injustices those kuffar land they get terrified by this by the steps the sounds of their horses and now Muslim is ready to get killed he's standing there and the guys coming to kill him. no fear nothing why because Prophet says you will love this dunya and you will detest death and Allah will remove the khuf, the fear from the hearts of the disbelievers and then they will do whatever they want to do with you and you will be so helpless like the you know the upper part of the layer of the flood you will be just like that and the, the way the flood goes and the upper part of the skin or whatever I don't know what you have but you can say that the upper part of the flood that's the way you will be